I hope you're here to learn how the UEE keeps you safe, and not because you found yourself in prison. Hmm? What'd you do? Hi, I'm LeafX, and I'm here to break down one of the in-depth gameplay systems Star Citizen has in place, the crime and prison system. I hate long intros, but asking you to subscribe and like the video objectively helps the video, so go ahead and do that if the video helped you learn something by the end of it. Now let's dive into it. A lot of games punish misbehaving players in very arbitrary ways, or they just don't punish them at all. CIG has been very clear. They have an idea for how you should play, but they don't want to take away options from players just because they don't like it. Instead, they build systems to catch all the edge cases, like trolls and griefers, but without making it feel like punishment. Instead, they make an entire gameplay loop around shenanigans. This is the crime and prison system. The entire system, at time of recording, is a Grand Theft Auto style crime level called your Crime Stat. It can be found by pressing F1 in game to open your Moby Glass. Your crime stat will increase depending on what and how many crimes you've performed. Each level makes it harder to get rid of at security outposts, which we will cover later, and can also make you a target for other players. Let's go over them real quick. As a disclaimer, I don't do a lot of crime myself, so there might be a couple minor mistakes here, but not enough to make it irrelevant. Crime Stat Level 1 Spaceship ports controlled by the UEE will no longer grant permission to land. Players can now kill you as you don't have any protection by the UEE, including armistice zones. Crime Stat Level 2 It honestly doesn't really change much beyond longer security outpost hacking. Crime Stat Level 3 You will appear to other players as a bounty contract in the Contracts Manager. Crime Stat Level 4 AI bounty hunters will start to track you. Crime Stat Level 5 you are now worth a lot of money to other players. You are also serving a lot of time in prison if caught or killed. Now beyond telling you about the crime stat, it's hard to find a place to start, between comrades, security outposts, and prison gameplay itself. So let's start where you wake up. In bed. When you first log in, you'll see a few symbols in the top right hand corner of your screen. The one we want to focus on right away is the satellite icon. This indicates a comma ray is active in the area. Comma rays track players and the AI in its range, so any illegal activities performed will be added to your record if you see that symbol. You can see which activities gain you crime stat and which are just fines by opening your Moby Glass with F1, then clicking on the journal app, and finally finding the jurisdiction you're under. You can also see if you already have a crime stat in the first place on that first page of your Moby Glass. Okay, cool. So don't do crimes when I see one of those. But you may ask me... But Leaf, isn't that a fairly arbitrary way of stopping players from doing crime? Exactly what you said CIG won't do? Why, yes, it would be. If that's all there was to it, you and other players can take that sucker down. And like everything in the verse, if you can see it happen, it happens for everyone. That's why some of you may have actually woken up and not seen the Comoray icon. That's because another player has already taken it down. If you're planning a heist, well, here's how you do it. Get yourself a crypto key. These can be acquired through many shops, be it Factory Line in Microtech or in the shadows of Grimhex. Different crypto keys have different speeds and interrupts that you will need to pay attention to to keep running. Your next step is to fly to the Comoray itself. Shoot down the turrets, hop inside, and hack away. Once that icon is gone, you're free to be naughty. Warning though, doing this will give you a crime stat level 1. While that's way better than whatever crime you're about to commit, it's still there. Now once the deed has been done, you'll want to get rid of that crime stat. Good thing CIG has thought of everything. It's time to get to those security outposts we mentioned earlier. Okay, you're wanted. It happens, and sometimes not even by your own choice. How do we clear our names? The security outpost will be your friend and enemy. At this point, depending on your crime stat level, you may have some players hunting you. In addition, rolling up on one of these outposts 
you may find some security at the security outpost. I don't know what else you'd expect. You're gonna have to keep an eye out and take down anyone in your way. This of course will add charges to your record, which will then need to be hacked down. Make sure you have another crypto key and some spare megs. You will have to hack down each and every charge, so the naughtier you were, the longer this will take. But if somehow an AI hunter, police, or player bounty hunter managed to kill or capture you while you had any level of crime stat, you will find yourself in... Well, shoot. This ain't the freedom of space travel Chris Roberts promised me. Well, maybe you should behave next time, hmm? As we mentioned before, CIG does not want anything to be arbitrary. They want players to play how they want, and for emergent moments to arise. So, if you're in prison, you still have the freedom of choice. There are three ways to deal with this situation. The first would be to head over to the terminal, see how much time you got left, and just serve it if it's low enough. Or maybe it's super high, so you could just log off. But maybe your play session isn't over yet. Your second option is to head down to the mines and work your way out. Turning in minerals reduces your sentence. At a low enough sentence of around 15 minutes to a few hours, this may be worth it to you. But maybe you can't wait, and your buddies need you right now. Well, rumor has it that there is a cave system underground that gets you right to the surface. That's right, a prison break option is on the table. You'll have to sneak and jump in low gravity across dangerous pits though to get out. And once you do, you'll have to have a friend pick you up to bring you to a security outpost as you'll still have that crime stat. In addition, those pesky guards still have all your gear. How rude. That though, my friends, is the prison system in a nutshell. While we didn't go into step-by-step -step processes of how to deal with any of these situations, hopefully that gives you a bit of an overview of what's going on with the crime system here in Star Citizen. CIG gives you the choice to be a criminal if you want, but they aren't going to make it easy. At least they make the pay for illegal activities generally worth your while, though. This system is just another example of all the intricacies that Star Citizen employs to make sure that you have an immersive and emergent experience in the verse. More guides will be posted to the channel as the game updates and new features come out. If this was helpful and you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing and liking the video. I also make machinima and other cinematic videos that you might enjoy outside of guides. Please leave a comment if you want a guide on something specific, or if you think the video missed anything. With the game in constant development, I'm sure I'm going to have to make some changes at some point in the future anyways. Thank you so much for watching though, I'm LeafX, and I will see you in the verse.